Hey guys, I hope you're well. My name is Thomas Blakemore. I teach travel and sometimes triumph. And this is actually going to be a technology video. Now, if you're new to my channel, I usually make a range of teaching and traveling videos. So if you are new and you feel like it, you can subscribe down in the corner. That's always appreciated. So in this video, what I wanted to do is start to talk about the AirPods Pro. My last technology video was about the AirPods Pro and why I bought them. However, now that I've had them for just over a month, I wanted to do a little bit of a more in-depth review to talk about the things that I absolutely love and some of the niggly things that I have going on at the moment with them. So first things first, let's talk about the things that I do really like. Now, number one, and I think it's one of the most important things when you buy earphones or headphones, is comfort. These things are ridiculously comfy. Now, a lot of people when they do reviews compare them to the old Apple AirPods. Now, I think with a review, you need to take each product as it is, forgetting about its predecessors. So with the AirPods Pro, I really find them very comfortable. You can put them in, they stay in place, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in the future, but I sleep with them in. Now, obviously I need to then find them in the morning because they do fall out. They don't stay in all night but they are very comfortable and yeah i can sleep with them in now there are times where i'll keep them in my ears and sort of forget about them being in there and then sort of realize when a song plays randomly through my ears instead of through my phone that i've got them in so they are definitely comfy number two and i think is just as important is the size they are tiny and as a result these things since buying them have pretty much lived in my pocket that makes them really accessible, I don't forget about them, and it means that I use them a lot. Now, when it comes to using them, it's so simple to use, and I think that's one of the key things with Apple products. Uh, these things are, are so easy to use, it's only a case of opening it up, connecting to my phone, and then game over. In addition to that, the sound is fantastic. It's fair to say that the sound profile with these is pretty flat, which means that within a range of different songs, you have a really good sound profile. You know, it's great for my hip hop taste, but at the same time, when I'm trying to sleep at night and I've got that classical music on, I can really hear those highs as well. So that's always really good as well. Noise cancellation is a feature that I really do appreciate when it comes to these things. Now, there are a range of different situations, such as when I'm editing, where these AirPods, having them in my ear and just being able to blank out the things that are around me are really appreciated. The one thing I will say though is it's not perfect noise cancellation. And if a baby starts crying, you can still hear that. Whereas when you've got headphones on, you're not likely to hear that unless you've got the music really, really low and the baby is really loud. But anyway, the one thing these are really good for is cancelling out those sort of constant noises. I've had a chance to test these on a plane and they really do cancel out the noise of the jet engine pretty well. So noise cancellation is one of the main features of the pros and it is something that I really do appreciate. Niggly things. Now, there's a few things within the AirPod Pros that are just a little bit niggly. Now, some of these will say more about me as a person than the AirPod Pros themselves. So let's get into it. Now, number one is noise. I don't find these to be loud enough. I want these to be a couple of extra notches louder. Now, like I said, it probably says more about me as a person and my hearing, but I really appreciate that. I think that it would make a really good immersive sound if I was able to have them a little bit louder, especially in the gym where it is really noisy, people are dropping weights and those sorts of things, it, it would just be appreciated. The second niggly thing is security. I said this in my original video of why I bought the Apple AirPods. One of the weaknesses I immediately saw was that security, that fit. Now, when I'm in the gym at the moment and I'm doing those high impact types of activities, for example, jumping up and down on a box jump thing, I do consistently have to keep altering and pushing them back into my ears. I think a third party wingtip would be really beneficial for these just to be able to add them on and have them so that they lock in. For example, if you're going on a run or doing those things such as box jumps or something along those lines. The next niggly thing with the AirPods Pro is something that I overlooked within my original video on these. And I thought, oh, you know, you can just sort of alter the volume with your phone. I, I didn't really think not having a volume control within the AirPods would be such a big deal. When you're in the gym and I've got dumbbells on my knees, for example, and I'm trying to alter, 
Songs, that's fine. If I'm trying to alter the volume though, and I'm trying to turn up volume, you know, to get that, that sort of kick ready for the next set, and that's when it becomes a pain because I've got to try and reach down to my phone whilst holding on to the dumbbells and it just doesn't work. So most of the time I end up putting the dumb dumbbells down to be able to then mess around and change the volume. Having those volume controls built into the AirPod Pros would have just made them a little bit easier. You know, you, you could have something to, that you can tap and hold for one side to go down. I don't know. It's just a frustration not having them in. Another thing that I had with the AirPods Pro that I've now figured out was getting them out of the case. Now to start off with, it was quite difficult. I was trying to pick a way to be able to get the AirPods Pro out of the case. Now I've realized that you just need to sort of pull back on the AirPods Pro when they're in the case and they come out a lot easier. Before that, I was just dropping them onto the floor. So I've dropped them a couple of times, which is not always the best, especially when it comes down to the cost. Cost is the next big niggly thing. Now, this is the significant reason why I can't rank them, you know, 10 out of 10 stars, five out of five. 250 pounds, 250 dollars, or a thousand Durham, which is what I paid, is a significant amount of money for a pair of wireless earpods. Regardless of the fact that they are Apple, you can then pick up the Sony WX1000 M3s for cheaper. Now, some would argue that that is a better pair of wireless earbuds. Now personally, I do prefer the AirPods Pros just because of the sort of form factor, the simplicity, the ability to connect it to my iPhone quickly and the way that they are more comfortable. In addition to that, you can then pick up the Sony wireless headphones and maybe, I'm not sure, in certain outlets, the, the Bose QC35 2s. You can pick those up around the same sort of price as well. So your real choice is there. So these go up against some real tough competitors. I'm not sure it sort of stands out as a product. Now, they are very, very popular at the moment. I will say that. And I definitely do think they are a fantastic product. But are they worth £250? That's the question. That is the question. Looking at the case, it's it's plastic, you know, it's nothing special. The materials that Apple have used are nothing special and I know in a year or two's time when the battery runs out, I'm gonna need to throw the AirPod Pros away to then get a new pair. That's also frustrating. However, generally speaking, these have been an absolutely fantastic addition to my life and I've really appreciated having them. You know, the fact that they do live in my pocket and the fact that I've always got them on me is something that I didn't have beforehand. And now I've got a really decent product that I can then listen to in a range of different situations. I use these a lot. And that is the one thing you look for when you buy a product. So I don't want to put you off buying them. However, I think it's very, very important for you to have that transparency when you buy a product and to be able to see some of the things that other people have struggled with. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button. It's always really appreciated. If you want to see more technology videos or teaching and traveling videos, then you can subscribe down in the corner. If you click the notification bell, you'll be alerted when I post. If you click into my channel, you can see more videos that I have created. For now guys, I'm off the gym and I will see you in the next one. I'm out.